hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel how are you all doing i hope you all are doing great and i believe you guys are keeping safe today guys i'm so happy to be sharing with you how you can make your turkey and micro fish stew so as you can see this is turkey and micro fish stew so if you want to see how i make this stew please stay tuned and keep watching if you are new on this uh, my channel you are highly welcome and please subscribe to the channel after watching this video and leave your comment at the comment section and also don't forget to share this video for for your friends and for your family thank you for your support and god bless you stay tuned guys so we can prepare this together let's go So guys, to prepare my my turkey and my crayfish stew, these are the list of the ingredients. Let me just quickly introduce my ingredients, guys. This uh, this is turkey. So this turkey, I just cook the turkey with uh, my ingredients, my usual ingredients. If you have been following my cooking video, so my I just cook the turkey, then I dry it from my hair fryer. Also, this micro fish, this is the micro fish I'll be using. I cut the fish, then uh, seasoning the fish with salt, just salt, nothing else. Then I also dry it for my hair fryer. And uh, these are the, also I have here jumbo uh, chicken stock. And here is a curry powder. And that's garlic that's a two seasoning cube that's a paprika salt to taste and the ginger powder so that's the sliced onions and uh, here is uh, the blended tomatoes that I will be using these tomatoes I blend uh, this uh, bay pepper there's a bay pepper here and uh, one scotch bonnet pepper and then one onions so i blend it together then i i just cook it like uh, about 20 minutes so that the water will dry up because i don't want it to be running so that's for that and that's the tomatoes that i use if you are here in italy this is multi i, I enjoy cooking with this it's either fresh tomatoes or multi so these the tomatoes i use I just keep this can so that I can show you guys and um, also I'll be using um, Derica this is a tomatoes paste yeah so yeah so this is what I'll be using also and uh, that's a vegetable oil you can use any oil of your choice that's the oil I'll be using if there is anything that is not here so I will show you all on the way. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. So you can see the final results. I just prepared this because I don't want this video to be too long. So many people don't enjoy watching long videos. So that's why I just prepared this. I don't want to start afresh. So I believe this is easy to prepare. You can you, you can boil it without uh, drying it, or you can also fry it with oil. These days, I don't enjoy frying my meat or chicken, turkey, whatever, with oil. I'm using, is either I use my oven or I'll use my air fryer. So, that is it, guys. Stay tuned and keep watching so you can see the final results. Let's jump into the cooking. That's the pot I'll be using. I just turn on the heat. Remember, I always cook with a, a low heat because I don't want my food to get burned. So, I'm always patient whenever I'm cooking. That is it. Then I there is water inside. I will just wait for the water to dry off before mm -hmm. adding the uh, oil. Stay tuned, guys. I keep washing. So, the next thing I'm going to add now is oil. So I'll be adding oil to my cooking pot. 
So I love cooking with a lot of oil whenever I'm preparing stew. Yeah. I like using a lot of oil. So I'll just leave the oil to preheat. Then I'll be right back. So guys, my next ingredient is onions. That's my sliced onions. So I'll just fry the onions for one minute. And my next ingredient is this Derica tomatoes paste. So sometimes I also use a multi tomatoes paste, but today. So, after putting the tomato paste, all I need to do is just to stir, give it a proper stir. Yeah. Then, I will leave it to fry. Then I will be coming back to, to stir because I don't want it to get burned. And also I'm cooking with a low heat. So stay tuned guys and keep watching. So my next ingredient is my tomatoes. So I'm just going to give it a proper stir. everything to be well combined so just give it a proper stir so that everything will be combined then you know these tomatoes is already already cooked now i'll be adding my chicken stock and the curry powder ginger garlic and the salt to taste so also i will stir I'm going to test if uh, you know I bring out a uh, two uh, seasoning cube so let me test it if I can if there will be need to add the seasoning cube so I think I'll just I'll just be adding one seasoning cube instead of two I'm using one if I add two, it will be too much. Okay, that's enough. And also, I don't think I'm going to use the all of the turkey. So, I'll just... As a spirit lead, <laughs> so I'll just add the uh, thing if I see it's enough. Then I have to check if that is enough. Now I'll be adding fish, I'm not also using all of the fish. So, as the spirit lead. So, then I have to stir to see if there will be need of adding uh, more 
کاکیل آ فیش So I'm not adding water. I don't like my stew to be running. At least when you put a little on top of your rice, it's okay. So let me try it. Mmm, it's really good. So I'll just wait for the stew to cook. Like three to four minutes for everything to be well combined so see you soon so guys as you can see my stew is ready what do you think does it look yummy do you like the outcome of this stew if you like the outcome of this stew so leave your comment at the comment section let me know what you think about this uh, my turkey and my crayfish stew so Leave your comment and I hope to see you all on my next video. Before then, remain blessed. Bye for now. Ciao, ciao.